Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, from the sunny Caribbean, you are watching what you need. Of the hundred subscriptions that I subscribe to on my channel, some of these channels are there. They're more entertaining. Some of them are to sort of trigger your mind. I'm a mental person. Some of the channels are also there to educate you in boxing. And some of the channels actually teach you how to box and guide you and coach you how to box. Now, as you know, I am training. Like I said, I was very serious about it. I'm looking to get ready to enter competition in two years from now. So I have been doing my little bit to train and to learn more about boxing. Now, let me just go through these channels in a way I'm shouting them out. Also, in a way, I'm hoping that I can work along with them, collaborate, and we can really do something wonderful in the YTBC. Now, some of the channels I mess around with are 68 Triumphant. The thing I like about 68 is his unique perspective on things. He doesn't always go with the status quo, but at the same time, he's very classy. 78 Sports TV. I mean, you guys just got to listen to 78 Sports. Whether you agree with him or not, he's fearless in his views, and I like that. Andre Gant. He's one of the newer channels. Arab King, I haven't heard from him in a while, but Arab King, he knows his boxing, man. I like him a lot. I mess with him. Very entertaining, but also very sound in what he says, and he gives his reasons. Boxing Channel is a very good channel, and it shows you a lot of different fights. Boxing Beats and Rhymes has been there from since the beginning. Very good channel. The Boxing Channel is an awesome channel to me, because not only is it the mainstream channel for boxing, but they are, to me, in my opinion, very unbiased in how they love the sport of boxing. It has nothing to do with networks, none of that stuff. It just has to do with covering boxing. I love that. Boxing Counter is where you will see some upcoming boxers, a coverage of certain fights. So I love to mess around with Boxing Counter. Boxing Ego, for those of you who know who Boxing Ego is, what I love about Boxing Ego is he breaks down boxing. And even his interviews are beautiful because you don't get those kinds of interviews. Unfortunately, he's only limited to the Bay Area in terms of his interviews. But they are always educational on the mindset you have to have in boxing. Boxing Eagle is more of an entertainment channel, but I still like it. Then there's Boxing Fan 333. Boxing Fan 333, you can go to his channel right now. This guy covers fights. He covers fights that you don't even know about. That's what I love about his channel. Boxing Strategist, he teaches you boxing. So you can ask him questions in boxing. Boxing Way is very entertaining as well. He'll give you his perspective and views on boxing. Bring up Rain Boxing, same thing know about what recently has come up in boxing his views on it your views on it captain punch he actually boxes so his perspective on boxing is very unique um he has his own views on certain fighters and so on but what i like is his footage of him boxing him actually sparring and so on i like that stuff carrie williams she's an actual boxing trainer she is a boxer herself so you really get a good perspective. She tries to break down the fundamentals of boxing so that you can incorporate it, whether you're a dancer, whether you're whatever profession you're in. She tries to make it simple for you to understand and learn. Conor Ruba, I messed with him, and I still mess with him because even though he's more into MMA now, um, he breaks down certain skills and certain things and identifies the general themes behind what a fighter does, his ba basic skills, his basic tools in a very general way. CO3 Disc 1. He comes with some very interesting things. I don't always agree with him on everything, but he's a very interesting channel. Counterpunch, I haven't heard from them. They're very comical, very entertaining. Cut West Boxing, I started messing with him after I saw him put out some information and I saw one of his videos. Dan Parks, that is Al Bernstein. That's his producer, Dan Parks. Al Bernstein, I love him. I love his journalistic qualities. So I'm a fan of him and I listen to him as he covers boxing. He's covered boxing for a very long time as well. I don't consider him somebody who knows the techniques and is technically sound or really goes into detail about boxing, but I do appreciate the way how he treats fighters, how he has respect for fighters and respect for the sport. So I like Al Bernstein for that. Dan Reed, kind of raw, but at the same time, he's demonstrating certain techniques. He's very basic, but I really like his channel. You should check it out as well. And you can have him as someone to inspire you to keep on boxing. If you're started off and you don't know what to do, he gives you some basic ideas of what to do. So you have Drugstar 1, David Griezmann. David Griezmann goes into detail behind the behind the scenes of boxing. I really like David Griezmann because he shows you the good, the bad, and the ugly about the sport of boxing. And I think with people like David Griezmann are doing what he's doing, he helps the sport to improve. And hopefully it will legitimize even more. And um, hopefully things will change for the boxers because a lot of things sometimes boxers are done dirty so many different ways. They're like the pawns in the whole chess game, you know. Daryl Too Sweet Coley. What can I say about Daryl Toussaint Coley? Boxer has done it all the way up to the top contention level. Won a couple minor world titles as well. And I still mess with Daryl Toussaint Coley. Donovan Hunt. Donovan Hunt is a young, upcoming boxer about to enter the pros. 
do check out his channel. He has interesting takes on different things. Dante's Boxing Nation absolutely messed with him. Uh, since I saw his very first video, he, he kind of highlights the imbalances and the racism in boxing. He looks at it from a colored black perspective, but of course you can apply that to almost any race in boxing. You know, people don't even consider certain people and certain races in boxing. I, I noticed that the Asian community, they have a hard time in boxing. D-Style's boxing gives his perspective on things. I like D-Style. I mess with D-Style. Um, I don't always agree with everything he says, and I can also, I can argue with him tooth and nail, I think, all the way down to the end, but one thing about D-Style Boxing I love is how he breaks down fights, how he explains certain things, and he always has a reason behind what he's doing, and his reasons, reasoning is damn good, okay? Like his channel, I mess with him. EJ Boxing, I haven't really been on their hangouts of, of late because I've had to deal with my family and other things that have come up. I try to just stay on my channel. I still have so many projects to still complete on my channel, but you guys need to check out EJ Boxing, EJ Boxing Live, great channel. What I like is the free flow of information. I haven't been on their hangouts in a while, but of course, I mess with EJ Boxing. Now, you see this channel here, Master Boxing, MB. This is a serious channel, okay? The man, Eric Bradley, who is known as the Fight Doctor, the real Fight Doctor, not the Fight Doctor that calls in to the boxing voice. This is the Fight Doctor. This guy's been in boxing. His father's been in boxing. His father's father's been in boxing, okay? This guy knows boxing, okay? And um, if you're really serious about boxing, if you're asking me questions about boxing, if you're asking me to train you even in boxing, I don't know boxing like that. But I can tell you, a guy who really knows boxing, if you're really serious about it, if you're living in the New York area, I'm not talking about just New York, but you have to be specifically in his area, and you can travel and meet him, you really need to go meet this gentleman, Eric Bradley. Entrepreneur, great boxing coach. I mean, this guy does it all. And I'm telling you right now, Eric Bradley has coached people up to the amateurs. He's also coached people in the pros, and they've reached all the way up to contender status for world titles. So I'm just saying right now, Eric Bradley is someone I seriously listen to on YouTube. Okay, I subscribed to his channel. I even went on his Facebook. Okay, I'm not playing with you guys. This man knows boxing, and I mean at the highest level. I mess with Ellie Sekback. Um, Ellie Sekback is one of the few reporters in boxing who who's trying to get boxing to the casual fans in a real serious way. And I don't think a lot of people understand what Ellie's doing, but he's definitely an asset to the sport of boxing. Ellie's take on boxing is to humanize the sport, make people understand that. The boxers are people too, and to capture up and coming boxers and so many different boxers and see the human side of them, not just them as a terminator in the ring or as a boxer, you know, really beautiful style of boxing, as we say, finesse boxing in the ring. Expert boxing. Expert boxing is kind of very basic for the casual fan. Uh, the trainer, he's, I wouldn't call him an expert boxing trainer, but what I love about what he does is he tries to simplify things and make them very simple for the casual boxing fan. So I mess with him. Of course, I mess with Fight Critic. His name alone says it all. I mess with Fight Videos, definitely. I love their interviews. I love what they're doing for the sport. Fight Hub, I love that channel. It's a great channel. Keep doing your thing. Fight Hype, I love Fight Hype as well. Uh, Fran Sands, that's another trainer. He's really a serious trainer. He's really, really good. Again, he's very, very specific about certain things. They're all fundamentals, but he's very specific about it. And certain types of people need to get specific directions. And Fran Sands, he's that kind of guy. Highly respected by me. Gambino for entertainment value. He's mostly a fan. Gary Anderson, he breaks down fights. That's why I love him. I love what he does. I hope he keeps on doing it. G Funky 84 he's more about, again, boxing. He's more talking from a fan's perspective. Giving quality for life. He's more, again, from a fan's perspective, but he does break down fights. And that's what I like about him. Horsepower Demons X. He actually breaks down boxing really, really well. He has a video there on the jab. I want you guys to check that out. Hustle Boss, very good channel. Hustle Boss himself, he actually boxes in the pros now. So I really respect Hustle Boss. I notice he doesn't really give his opinion on anything. He lets the experts do the talking. Jassy Jeff is Jeff Mayweather. And um, I, just, I just love what he does. I love how he talks and breaks down things. Very, very uh, approachable person. That's the impression I get about him, even though he's a very tough guy, I can tell. Joe Habib, I mess with Joe Habib. JT Van V, I mess with JT Van V every single day, actually. I always go and look at one of his uh, videos because he really breaks down boxing excellently. Again, somebody who you need to train or you need tips or you may be training with a, a coach, but you, you still need to get that extra development. JT Van V will give you tips on what to do. You can also inbox him for some more information. Carcino for life, I don't always agree with every single thing Carcino says, but Carcino, man, I don't know, man. We think very similarly. So uh, I really like Carcino for life. Um, he sees boxing in the way how I think boxing should be seen. He really is an insider, I can tell you that. His real name is Kevin Davis. He's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman, and very successful, I believe, at what he's doing. KBC Live, she breaks down boxing. I like her because she messes with the lower weight divisions. Concrete Jungle, I like them for their humor, and yet the short, 
compact, nice way how they summarize things. Lists of promotions. Again, they cover boxing. They cover fights that you and I may have missed. Not the big ones. Lee Thornton, he breaks down fights. Lee Wiley, you gotta, you gotta mess with Lee Wiley, man. This guy breaks down fights, y'all. He breaks down fights. Not only does he break down fights, he breaks down fighters. Of course, I mess with Mayweather Boxing Channel. I mess with Mayweather Promotions. I mess with Mayweather, period. MC Stroke, a vision. <laughs> He's funny, man. Very uh, raw, funny, uncut way. So I mess with him.